Hey y'all, it's Lady with a Mic, and today we are looking at um, an AI in the, the <laughs> Am I the a-hole, okay? So you know my thing, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. This happened last, oh, sorry, title, duh. Am I the a-hole for not answering the phone to my stepsister calling her back or letting her stay when she needed a place to stay for the night? When I read that out loud, it sounded so much like gibberish. Um, let's just go ahead and dive into it. But it says not the a-hole, so let me let me be the judge of that, okay? This happened last weekend, got three random texts in a row and then a phone call that was a number I, 23 male, didn't recognize. Didn't answer and read through the text, found out it was my step stepsister, 24 female. Her car broke down, she was about 30 minutes out well, from my place and her dad and my mom told her she could spend the night at my place and that I needed to come pick her up. I love when parents just volunteer us. I love it. I love when they do it. If for people that don't know, that's sarcasm. She called me again and I still didn't answer and I ignored her text. Probably we do the same thing. The next morning, all hell broke loose. My mom called me a bunch of times and her husband was texting insults <laughs> repeatedly at me. My mom asked me why I hadn't answered my phone or gone to pick my stepsister up. I told her I wasn't asked and I was told and I do not welcome people in and I do not welcome people in who I have a bad relationship with. Okay, because first of all, don't tell me what to do. I'm a grown man. Don't tell me that I'm about to go pick up somebody. And don't tell me that they're gonna be staying at my house. Don't, don't, don't tell me. Ask. I'm like, are you asking or are you telling? There's a big difference. And first of, and second of all, why is your husband calling me? In? Why are you insulting me, sir? I definitely ain't finna have her staying at my house. So is the step is that is that why y'all don't get along? Because the step she do do she act like her daddy trying to insult somebody? Sir, that's your daughter. You go pick her up. Okay. Anyway, let's move on. To sum up our relationship, we knew each other from kindergarten. We didn't start out as step as steps, but as kids in the same school. By the time we were about seven, we had a very tense relationship. I don't know what started it, but we fought a lot and it only got worse whenever we were put in the same class. My mom met her dad through the school. Other, wait. Oh, skip the line. Through the school, calling them up and saying, hey, we need to talk about your kids. They fight a lot. Through that, they started to like each other and began dating when we were nine-ish. They got married eight months later. Our dislike for each other did not change because we were supposedly family at this point. We went to therapy together and her dad sent us to this bonding camp thing where we had to do challenges each, each day for like a month in the hopes we would work together. I ended up with a dislocated shoulder from that because she refused to take part in one part of it and I fell. Did she do that on purpose? Cause that's what it sounds like. My mom put her foot down about it being the end of that. But we didn't, wait, what? My mom put her foot down about it being the end of that. Oh, hmm. But we didn't, but we didn't even tolerate each other. It was either outright avoid Oh, I thought that package was coming to me. Dang it. Avoid, and if we couldn't, there was tension. We glared. We have not been in the same room since she moved out of my mom and her dad's house and we went and went to live with a friend. 18 months ago, I was in a pretty bad accident and spent some time in the hospital. No concern is shown. She didn't, she didn't call to find out how I was or come to see me. Did I care? No. Ooh, are those packages for me? Yes, <laughs> it's a big package. I'm sorry, y'all. I just got a package. Are you you want to go knock? Oh, maybe because you saw me right here, so you just wasn't gonna knock. Okay, then that's fine. I'm gonna get those packages because I think one of them. Well, dang it, I hope that one's mine. I ordered a, a ring light for my phone. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is, um, sorry. Did I care? No. But this is a point I will make because of the big deal about staying at my place. We do not help each other or care what happens to each other and that's how it is on both sides, not just me. She had to get my number off my mom last week. She did not have it already. Well then that lets you know right there that they're not even close. So why would you come stay with me? Let's move on. Because I didn't answer or let her stay, I was told I'm now a S-H-I-T-T-Y awful person and my mom's husband has asked repeatedly how I could do that to my sister. <laughs> You're no sister of mine. 
My response to him was, where was she when I was in the hospital? Okay, that was ignored. My stepsister ended up waiting in a coffee shop for her dad to make the six hour drive to her. Okay, well at least somebody got to her. Adding extra detail, I forgot in the main post, the text slash call started at 10 p.m. Oh, y'all. I, see, if they would have called me, that would have been me. I would have been asleep. I, I'm a granny. I go to bed early. Her car had broke that, broken down and she left a real S-H-I-T-C-Y date and couldn't get a place to stay because everywhere was very busy because of two events going on. I found this out later. Am I the a-hole? No. No. In my opinion, no. Um, I'm going to say no because, first of all, it's 10 p.m. at night. Um, I, I know me. I would have been asleep. I would have been knocked out. So, I probably wouldn't saw those text messages until tomorrow. Second of all, why? I'm going to go back to this. The dad was over here like, first of all, y'all was over here just volunteering my place and volunteering me and my time. Like, it was okay. You didn't even ask me. That was rude. Um, second of all, dad, uh, stepdad, whoever, whatever you want to call him, stepdaddy, daddy yo, why are you insulting me? Okay. You br- tell it or throwing insults my way. Do you really think I'm about to sit up here and just let you, um, talk to me that way and then go pick up your daughter after you didn't insulted me? No, absolutely not. Then, and then, y'all know they don't get along, okay? I mean, it sucks that she was stuck on the side of the highway or wherever she was stuck. It does suck, especially at night. It's not safe. I get that. I understand that. However, do unto others and it's going to be done unto you. I hope I said that right. <laughs> um, And I say that because this young man said that he was in a hospital. He was in a bad, um, he was in an accident was pretty bad and she, not once did she call and check on him heck did they check on him did they you know try to be there for him because at this point i don't want nothing to do with none of y'all and whatever happens i mean i i pray for you my prayers will keep you safe and and, and then here's the thing too i guess the dad was gonna come and get her um like from the the step from the brother's house or whatever but you did right by driving six hours to come and get her you did right because i'll be like uh-uh, i'm not the way she's rude to me and we don't even get along and no no i don't think he's the a-hole but it do seem like i guess i mean if you do have a heart and i do have a heart I wouldn't want her to be stranded out there and alone at night like that because it is, again, people are crazy out here in these streets. But then I also know me, I would have been remembering like, oh, heck no, I think you done treated me like this. And then you got your daddy over here like insulting me, throwing insults my way. Oh, no, 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 no. Like that's not how that worked. But, um, and it's crazy and it's not crazy that when he brought up like well i was in a hospital for uh, such and such amount of days where was she where were y'all and the dad just you know glosses over it. he just runs over it like it's nothing like ah, 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 come back because i wasn't done where were you okay when i was when all this was going on with me where were you where was she exactly so no i don't think that uh he was the, i don't think he was the a-hole I don't think he was the a-hole at all. I just, I just think that maybe, you know, maybe he just um, was like, I'm not going to just let you guys talk to me and do me any kind of way. So I'm just going to let, you know, I'm going to let y'all do y'all thing and I'm going to do my thing. And that's what happened. <laughs> that's what I think was happening, you know. But, you know, but she's safe and sound. The dad came and got her and that's all that matters. I hope she get her car fixed and I hate that she had an S-H-I-T-T-Y date. Um... But what happened though? I want to know what happened on a date. Like why? Why was it so bad? Um, what happened? Anyway, that's not the point. The point is, I don't think he's the a-hole. But do you guys feel like he's the a-hole? Do you guys feel like he should have been there for his sister no matter what? Family is family. Regardless, I personally don't feel like that. Um, but that's me. That's my opinion. So, yeah. Do you guys feel like... Um, he was wrong. Do you feel like he was the a-hole? Do you feel like she's the a-hole? Do you feel like everybody's the a-hole? So yeah, thank you guys for joining me today. And let me know again your thoughts and opinions on what was going on in this situation. 
And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.